What's up guys? Welcome to another ARC building tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build a little log cabin. It can be used as a house, as hunting logs, or whatever you need it to be. It's really easy to build. I think it looks pretty cool, super simple, and if you guys stick around, I will show you how to build this from start to finish. I'll even throw in all the structures that you'll need, so if you want to build this in your own worlds, you will have a list of structures. That way you know exactly how much to gather, how much to construct, in order to build this thing so we'll build this together from start to finish and like I said it won't take us that long and we will get started in just a second Hello everyone and thank you for stopping by. I hope that you all are doing well today. I am Yo-Yo Y2K and today I am back on Ark Survival Evolved with another build tutorial. Today we're going to be working on a little log cabin. Super simple design but one that I think looks really cool. It doesn't take a lot of structures to build. Not a lot of resources are involved. So you should be able to build this pretty quick, pretty, pretty easily and without a lot of you know, grinding to get resources like wood and stone and whatnot. So this is what it looks like. So the structure is completely vanilla. I have obviously decorated it with some mods that I have just to make it look cool to show off to you guys, kind of give you an idea of what this place looks like it decorated. But, you know, you can build the structure and then decorate it however you want. Decorate it to what you have available to you in your own game. So no matter if you're playing on PC, console, whatever, you can build this place and then just customize it to your own liking. If you guys like this build guide, please don't forget to leave a like down below. It really does help me out and I appreciate it. If you guys want to see some more videos like this, you can check out some of the links in the description below. And if you want to see some more of these build guides in the future, don't forget to subscribe as well. So with all of that out of the way and taking a look at the finished product, Let's go ahead and build this together, and this shouldn't take too long, like I said. This is pretty quick. So. Alright, so I found a pretty nice spot over here, pretty flat, and we're going to start off by placing our foundations. And first step is to do a 2 by 6 so just kind of figure out over here, give myself enough space. I think we're good starting right here. So like I said, just 2 by 6 so go 6 across. Alright, so once we have this 2x6 laid down, we can go and make another little section off the front of this. And it's going to be 3 wide, or I guess 3 long, or 3 deep, however you want to say it. Like that, and then go over here again. And you see I'm just going one in, and then I'm building, oh, not there, and building there. So I have left one of these on the end, ends up looking like this. And then we can just fill in this space, like so. Alright, now that we have the foundation down, we are ready to start putting up walls. So I'm going to start off by figuring out, okay, number five, putting down some window frames on the end. So I'm going to come right to here and see how that one's blue. The blue means you got the interior texture facing towards you. So if we look green, is going to place with the normal texture, like the outer texture facing outward. I want it so that this interior texture is facing out, just because I think it looks kind of neat. So I'm going to pick this back up, go ahead and grab it again. If you look down towards your feet, keep dragging until it turns blue. Right there, you get it so that the interior texture is facing out. We can go ahead and throw a couple of these slopes on top as well. Okay, so now we have this little front part done, and we're going to start building back toward the rest of the cabin. So look down at our feet, get it turned blue. Got a wall over here, do another wall. Look down, turn blue. And then we're going to do a door frame. So a door frame here, look down, turn it blue. Same thing over here, look down, turn it blue. Come on, there you go. 
and we have that together. Next, we're going to put a couple more door frames in here, and I want these to face outward again because of this. We're going to put a wall up on top because once we have these slopes coming back, like so, there you go, there we go. The uh, top of that wall faces out where you can see it, so I want that to actually have the same texture as the rest of the cabin just for consistency and make it look kind of neat. Alright, so now we have kind of this little front part done. We're going to come back with a couple more walls. Look at our feet. Same thing over here. Look at our feet and get that to turn. We'll go ahead and put a wall up on top as well. All right, so there is that. And I forgot to mention, as I was doing this, that we are going to need 19 walls, 18 window frames, 5 door frames. And you'll need 4 each of the slopes. So slope left, slope right. So these things, these slope left and slope right. I need 4 each of those. So I'll uh, try to put that either in description or maybe include it in the video so you guys can see exactly how many structures you'll need. So the next part is kind of a temporary little fix or not only really fix I guess but a little trick to help us get the interior texture facing out on the rest of the stuff so we're gonna need some temporary ceilings and I'm using thatch just because they're cheap doesn't take a lot of resources to make these and replace them and these are only temporary so we're gonna get rid of these as soon as we get our walls and stuff down. So these are not staying. They're just so that we can do what we are doing before. Um, and let's go ahead and show you. So we're going to grab our window frame. Look down at our feet. Same thing. Like that. And get that to go up top. Look down at our feet. At the window frame. Another window frame on top. Window frame blue. Window frame up top. So you can see I'm just using these ceilings to provide a snap point for these window frames. And once I get rid of the ceilings, the window frames will stay behind. And you will have that texture that's facing out so that you have that consistency across the entire build. And I just picked up... Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, so pick these up. You can go ahead, continue around back here. If I can hop up here. I think we're going to go walls here. So look down, get it turned blue, and place it. Same thing here. Turn blue, turn blue. Okay, so now that we have all the walls up here, we can go ahead and start picking up our thatch window, not windows, our thatch ceilings, since these are only temporary, just to get the interior texture facing out. Now we need to come back with our slopes, go ahead and go up to a peak on all of these, like so, and then we're going to go inside the house. Alright, so once we are inside, we can figure out where we want the bedroom to be. You can put the bedroom over here if you want. You don't even have to have a bedroom if you don't want. Um, I just think it's kind of neat to have a bedroom in the house. So I'm going to put my door right here. And this time, it doesn't matter how you have it facing. So if you want to face it like that, whatever. Because this isn't going to be seen from the outside of the cabin. So I'm going to go there, there, and there. Or if you did want it to be, you know, the interior texture, you could totally turn them around. But I'm just going to keep it so that when we're inside this main living area, we have the consistent textures of the outer material. So then I'm going to come back with our slopes. Put a slope up there. And we are nearly finished. All we need to do now is put a ceiling on this place. And I'm using the stone ceilings again. Um, I think they look nice with this. You could totally do wooden ceilings if you want, metal ceilings, whatever floats your boat. Even greenhouse glass would be 
pretty cool, I suppose. Uh, let's see. So with the ceilings, we are going to need... Uh, where are those? The slope ceilings. We need 16 of those all together to make this come together and look like this. We'll need three doors because we need a door here. We'll need a door here and on the opposite side. And we will need 18 windows to fill in all of these gaps. Let's see, do I have windows on me? I do not have windows on me. I have a couple doors. Let's go ahead and put the doors in here. I'm going to go ahead, grab some windows, put those in, and then I'll bring you guys back. We are basically finished, guys. All we got to do is go around. I guess we can put the railing on, too. Uh, right here, number four. So a railing. And then a couple of ramps, too. Yep, punch the air. Uh, okay. Up there, and then if you wanted, you could put a couple of ramps down. I don't have any ramps on me. But I've got ramps over on the other one. So the ramps just kind of let you go up to your door. So let me go ahead and grab a few window frames. Not window frames. A few windows to put in here. Grab a few ramps. And I'll bring you guys back. And we will be finished. All right, guys. So I put the windows in. And oh, don't look. Oh, oh, that was embarrassing. <laughs> so I put the windows in. I put the ramps in. So this build is now finished. So, as you can see, it did not take us very long at all to put this together. Um, did I put a door here? I did not put a door here. We could put a door here if we wanted. I totally forgot. But this place is now finished. You can decorate it however you like. Um, you kind of saw how, how I had it decorated over in our little test build. But I think this looks pretty cool. It ends up being a nice little cabin. You could use it as like a little hunting lodge. You could use it as your house. Uh, just... Lots of different ways you can utilize it and make it fit into your purposes for your game. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the build. Again, if you guys did enjoy, please don't forget to leave a like down below. It helps me out. I hope that you guys build this in your own worlds. Let me know if you do. Hopefully you guys can get some use out of this design. I think it's pretty cool. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching. hope that you have enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys next time. Uh, wave. <laughs> Bye, guys.